was happening. And then he started telling me, I don't like what you said. Me. I don't give a fuck what you talking about, young fella. Get your punk ass on in the game and, and get to playing fall. Whoop your ass up here. What's up, YouTube? This your boy, No Chill. Gil hit. And I want to tell you this story about the day I got pulled up on. For, me pulled up on like a, a player <laughs> came to check me. Are you serious? I know, I know, right? Me, the psychopath. Someone, ch someone checked me. But I gotta give you some back, a back, the backstory behind it. I'm gonna just pull up the incident so y'all can see how it all played out, right? Pull up the incident. Uh, bam. Y'all remember when LeBron James and a uh, young fellow Isaiah Stewart from uh, Pistons got into the little thing thing? Yeah, so we can see it all, and we can see how it played uh -oh. out. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Stewart and LeBron. Stewart is hot, and everybody's coming off now. It was along the free throw line on the free throw, and he's still trying to get loose. <laughs> he is knocking over, and he's out of the game, without question. That's yeah, I, yeah, I remember this, right? right. <laughs> he went ape shit. <laughs> uh, no point in to me. I commented. Let's check my comment out. So I responded to this and I tagged him. I, I, I shouldn't have did that. So look, I tagged him and said, hey, brother, <laughs> and I'm gonna just be real with you. Pack all your shit. Pack your winter jackets and your boots because your ass is about to be traded to Budapest somewhere. Yeah, nothing bad, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what type of blood clot blood you have in your eye, but you can't charge at the king like that on TV. I said blood clot because he's, he's uh, I think he's Jamaican. You know, that blood clot, you know, they're crazy. So I just said, I don't know what kind of blood went into your eye. But God damn it, brother. Ooh, can't do that on TV. Not after the game. And I said, you will be drug tested uh, in TI's voice expeditiously. And I'm dead ass serious. He got drug tested after that <laughs> incident. Just to make sure that rage ain't drug related. We don't do that in the NBA. I said, you probably haven't read the memo on fighting attempts in the NBA. So I think he thought I was calling him. Because the way he approached me and what he was saying don't match what I was saying. So he pro it was probably still some blood in his eye. And he was still probably, he probably read it right after or the next day and he was still feared. Because I don't he didn't read it how I wrote it. I said, you probably haven't read the memo on fights attempts in the NBA. Number one, don't square up with the king. <laughs> you don't fight the king. You don't fight KD ever. Capitalize. Number two, them two light-skinned boys, Steph Curry and Klay Thompson on Golden State, don't even puff your chest up. Little ass nigga. Or your ass is done. Number three, only two teams that's allowed to fist fight without any pen real penalties is wherever Rondo and CPR. Because those two actually be fighting, fighting. So whatever two teams they own, we don't care, right? The NBA just like let them do them. Right? Those are rules. Now, I think this is where he got everything misconstrued. Number four, I said, wait till your teammates get around you and then act tough. So I'm telling you what rule four is. Like, like I want to fight you, but I'm going to wait. I, I, the root, wait until the teammates come. Once your teammates come and they got you good, then you go hard, boom, because you got to act for the fans. The fans got to really think you're crazy. You don't want to be real crazy, you don't want to be what you did. You want to be, right? Like, hold me back. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I think he thought I said, you waited till your teammates to get there. Then you wanted to act crazy. No, 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 no. I was saying what you're supposed to do. Wait till your teammates get there. Then when it got you locked in, then you go ape shit. That's what you do. That's part of the rule book. You don't really want to get fined, right? You want to pretend you about to fight, but you don't want to really fight because it costs too much fucking money. Was that chase worth 32,000? Fuck no. And then I said, I said, wait till your teammates get around you and then you act tough for the crowd. You got to sell it like it's WWE. Um, That's it. Good luck moving forward, my man. P.S. I said, this was worse than the gun in the locker room situation. I said, some can say this was a tip and murder. <laughs> yeah, I mean, shit, you you look like you was really, really about to kill that man, right? So this could be attempted. I said, the only thing that can save you right now is MJ dropping episode 11 of The Last Dance. I mean, if he did drop episode 11, 
trust me, we would have forgot all about this and went straight to that. Cause you know, obviously, you know, Pippin, him, all that shit was going on. All he had to do was just edit out some of Pippin deleted scenes and that would have fucked Pippin up. He would have, you, you get what I'm saying. Or if Vanessa would, if Vanessa Bryant would have dropped the Mambas or she would have dropped the Mamba last season. Like, you know, we heard that rumors, they filmed the whole last season. So if she would have dropped that, we would have been glued to it. You probably wouldn't even got suspended. I said, if you think about, if you think I'm lying or bullshitting, ax in his canter. He got too close to the king back in 2016 and 17. And the Turkish president has been trying to catch his ass ever since, right? That's what I wrote. <laughs> so obviously that was just jokes not paying no mind. So fast forward till now, you know, I'm talking my shit obviously doing what i'm doing and we're in tacoma we're there for uh isaiah thomas's um weekend zeke uh you know zeke in right thank for the invite it's the last day we're waiting for the game to start i'm talking to brand b roy see me b i'm talking to b roy you know me and b roy chopping it up boom boom you know chopping it up and um isaiah walk in you know he dapper b roy so i went in and give him the hug and he was like so I, so I bagged back, like, like, what's happening? And then he started telling me, I don't like what you said. Me, I don't give a fuck what you talking about, young fella. Man, get your punk ass on in the game and, and get the playing fall. Whoop your ass up here. I got my cancer right here. Be Jenny's right there. Got a bunch of white, you know, um, you know, cameraman back there. I knew they was going to do shit, but they was going to record this. And I'm trying to, you know, let be right back up. For young fella get fucked up around here. Tell me, I don't like the way you talk to me. I don't give a shit. He must, listen, he must thought I was what? Skip Bayless and Rachel Nichols or something, right? That he could pull up on old GA. Boy, you crazy? <laughs> I had to look that man up and down, boy. Boy? <laughs> What's happening? What, I, I'm like, serious, what he thought? What he thought? What he really, he better, you better ask about me, young fella. He better check my police record. Shit. Nah, serious no, dead ass. That's what I was thinking in my mind when he pulled up. R reality was kind of like this. <clears throat> me and B-Roy was talking. <laughs> I bagged up, but it wasn't kind of how I bagged up. It was like, yo, what's up, B-Roy? And then she like, oh shit. Hey, big fella. <laughs> Cause he was bigger than I thought. He big on you know TV. I got a big TV. He was big on TV, but he was a really big person. And then he came with like Debo energy, right? So like I backed up, like, hey, how you doing, big fella? And I was looking him up and down, but not like how I. It was in my head. It was more like, huh? Oh, okay, yeah. My, I said what? Oh my bad. You know, I was. It was more. <laughs> It was, I even tried to get a little bit, I was just playing, hey, I don't want to fight. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't have my gun on me. Don't laugh at me. I was supposed to get my ass whooped all down them Tacoma hallway. Is you crazy? I didn't have nothing on me. I had to think about it. Like I was getting, mentally, I was getting ready to size them up. And then I realized, no, you ain't about to drag me all up and down here. Cause he looked like the type that'll drag you and never say nothing. <laughs> yes. No, <laughs> no, sorry. Wasn't gonna let it happen. I was literally, hey, big fella, hey. I said, what? Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. But he was confused. He thought I, I called him and he said some shit. This, this one, I knew I didn't want these problems. He said this, yeah, yeah, you said uh that I didn't get crazy until I, I got around my teammates. I ain't got my teammates now. I literally did this. I don't know you know. And then I had to think about what he was saying. <laughs> shit. <laughs> He got no teammates. <laughs> oh my God, he was ready to pack me out, right? That he was ready to put me all up in the figure fold. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I felt like I, I felt like Money Mike when Damon walked in the bathroom. Hey, what are you doing? Phone book, nigga. I ain't even in the phone book. What? I'm a boy, Damon. <laughs> this man said, "Yeah, I ain't got my teammates around me now." Like, uh, no, you don't. <laughs> Boy, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I was confused. I was one confused because I was trying to remember what I said. Because I was like, I don't think we talked about him on the show. And I don't remember, like, going at him like that. But I think he, he read the one part wrong. He read number four 
wait till your teammates. I thought, I think he thought I said you waited because that's what he's saying. You think I was waiting for my teammates to go out of match? I ain't got them now. <laughs> yeah, he was ready to, he was ready to fuck me up. I couldn't say nothing because look, he got the rage like of one, Jamaican. Two, Detroit, right? They ready to whoop my ass too. So he would have got a pump. <laughs> they put us, if he would have whooped my ass right there up and down the motherfucking hallways, all of Detroit would have been standing there. That motherfucker standing over there. He would probably got a statue. You know what I mean? I couldn't let that happen. I had to, yeah, hey, <laughs> hey, oh, have a good game. <laughs> I was so scared that when he was in the game, I was clapping for that nigga. <laughs> good shot, boy. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Just in case he looked, I wanted to make sure he knew I, I'm clapping for him and all his success. Sometimes you got to take an L when you know an L is going to be taken. Because if not, it was going to be an ass whooping that I was going to receive. And I had to back. We was going to talk about it on the show. <laughs> but Miko and McCants, Miko and I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't let them engage in that bullshit. No, no, no. no I would have been, they would have been laughing from both sides. So I had to do this shit myself. Now, if I would have had, you know, if I would have my girl, I would have probably like, huh? Say that again. And he 20, and he, he young too. <laughs> right? In shape, big. Man, it would have fucked me up all up and down, all up. I would have been in that. There wouldn't have been no shows. <laughs> I, but I do know <laughs> anytime I go out of town, god damn it, <laughs> I'm going to be packed. Just in case one of you other country motherfuckers try that shit. Woo! I got my pisses uniform ready to go. I told you, boy, I was I was at the game, baby. He's he dunked. Yeah, I tell you. Break it down, nigga. I became a Pistons fan right off of that, right after that. Look, Brandon Jennings and McCants was playing on the other team. Nigga, I started booing them. <laughs> Just in case he was looking. I, I, that's my story. The day I almost got my ass for. Mm -hmm.